Larry Anglosano at Aviation Consumer Magazine. In a previous video, we looked at the Sirius XM SXAR1 satellite weather receiver. Now, at the time, we thought it was a good performer, but we wondered what kind of traction it might have in a market dominated by free ADSB weather. Now, since then, AppMaker 4 Flight added the SXAR1 to its mobile app feature set to sort of breathe a new life into the SXAR1. Now, Garmin comes to the market with its own satellite weather receiver. It's the GDL50 series. There's a GDL51 and the GDL52, which has both ADSB and SXM. Let's go to the bench and have a look. Priced at $699 retail, the GDL51 is one of several versions of the device. It's considered entry level and it has a built-in WASP GPS for sending position, speed, and backup attitude data to the Aeros 660 and 796 portable GPSs. It also works with the Garmin Pilot tablet and smartphone app which has SVX synthetic vision and a full set of electronic flight instruments. Weighing less than a pound, the chassis mold of the GDL is sort of alarm clock-like and at roughly five inches wide, three and a half inches deep, and a bit over an inch high, it's easy to stash wherever you want. It worked for us in a flight bag, which is a bonus for reducing clutter in the cockpit. A non-slip friction pad on the bottom of the case keeps it from moving around when it's surface mounted, but for times like this, we think the $25 securing mounting bracket that Garmin offers makes better sense. The GDL runs on a lithium-ion battery that Garmin says should last for about seven hours on a full charge. Now, based on our use, that's about right, and although, like most cockpit portable electronics, we suggest plugging it in using the supplied micro-USB cable. The GDL does have a battery saver feature that turns the unit off when external power is removed, or when it senses that the ground speed is less than 20 knots. Now, when it comes to power input and charging, we wish the GDL had a mini B power connector instead of the smaller micro B, which seems to take a few more frustrating seconds to snap into place. The controls on a GDL 51 are minimal and limited to a power button on the left side of the case. There's also an input for an optional SXM antenna, but in our trials, the GDL 51 had pretty good reception without it. The right side of the case is an input for external GPS antenna and an audio output port for piping SXM entertainment into a headset that doesn't have Bluetooth, for example. The front of the GDL chassis houses a smart battery life enunciator, which turns red when a device is charging and it flashes if there's a fault. When the battery is less than 20% of its capacity, the light turns orange, and it's green when there's a power applied where the battery level is greater than 20%. The connects, which is Bluetooth, the enunciator is blue when there's an active Bluetooth connection, and it flashes when the pairing list on the host device is cleared. When the internal GPS receiver is locked on, the GPS enunciator turns green, and it's off when there's no signal. The XXM enunciator works the same way. Connecting the GDL to a tablet or smartphone is pretty easy. You basically connect the GDL to the Pilot app after successful pairing with the phone or tablet by accessing the Connects tab in the app and then select Sirius XM from the menu. From there you can see signal for both the weather and audio data link plus the availability of Sirius XM weather products. Now the GDL52 model, which has the SXM receiver and a dual channel ADSB in traffic and weather receiver, wasn't available when we made this production, but it will share the same chassis as the GDL51, and it'll work a lot like Garmin's GDL39 dedicated ADSB portable receiver. It's expected to be priced at $1199. The SXM only GDL51 is $699. Now for comparison, Sporty sells the SXAR1 for $699 and SiriusXM is offering a $200 rebate for a final cost of $499. The SiriusXM Aviation subscription start at $39.99 a month. Worth mentioning is a remote version of the GDL51 and GDL52. These are designated as a GDL51R and 52R. These are remote box solutions for connecting to Garmin's G3X Touch integrated avionics system for LSA and experimental aircraft. The remote versions support up to two wire displays and two connects Bluetooth connections. Now if you had to choose between the Sirius XM SXAR1 or Garmin's GDL series, we might give the pending GDL52 an edge simply because it will receive both SXM and ADSB weather and traffic, but it's also expected to be twice the price. To get both SXM and ADSB on ForeFlight, you have to buy two receivers. Selecting the base GDL51 or the SXAR1 will really come down to whether you use Poor Flight or a Garmin Pilot. 
Garmin's GDL 50 series only works with Garmin Pilot, and the SXAR1 only works with ForeFlight. Now you can read a full report on portable SXM receivers in the November 2017 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching.